since I've actually read for pleasure that during the spring break I thought I would read as many of the Bridgerton books as I could. Um, I started on the third book because I just finished watching season two of Bridgerton. I was so obsessed with the series so I just had to continue with my love for it. Um, right now, like I said, I am on the book to Sir Philip with Love which focuses on Eloise's love story and if you're not familiar with Bridgerton, Bridgerton is a family back in like the 1800s that the series and the books are based on. I don't know if, I, I mean I don't think these are real people but who knows if they could have been. Um, and there's about eight or nine siblings and each book is based on each sibling's love story and this one happens to be of Eloise's. However, so far, my favorite book has been um, an offer from a, from a gentleman, and I think that's Benedict's book. If not, I'm sorry, but Benedict's book is by far my favorite. Um, but I thought that you guys could just cozy up in bed as I am. Maybe grab some water, some warm milk, get ready for bed, and do something cozy. And just listen to me read some of chapter 5, which is the chapter I left off on, but go ahead and relax and just go ahead and listen to this juicy story. I think this is where Eloise notices that she might have a crush on Sir Philip Crane. So chapter 5. Implore you, mother, you must punish Daphne. It is not fair that I am the only one sent to bed without pudding, and for a week, a week is far too especially since it was all mostly Daphne's idea. And then it says, From Eloise Bridgerton to her mother, left upon Violet Bridgerton's night table during Eloise's tenth year. So that was part of a letter that Eloise wrote to her mom, complaining about her older sister, Daphne. And then the chapter continues to say, It was strange. Eloise thought how much could change in a single day. Because now, as Sir Philip was escorting her through his home, viewing the portrait gallery, but really just prolonging their time together, she was thinking he might make a perfectly fine husband after all. Not the most poetic way to phrase a concept that ought to have been full of romance and passion, but theirs wasn't a typical courtship, and with only two years remaining until her 30th birthday, Eloise really couldn't afford to be fanciful. But still, there was something. In the candlelight, Sir Philip was somehow more handsome, perhaps even a little dangerous looking. The rugged plates of his face seemed to angle in shadow in the flickering light, lending him a more sculptured look, almost like the statues she'd visited at the British Museum. And as he stood next to her, his large hand possessively at her elbow, his entire presence seemed to envelop her. It was odd and thrilling and just a little bit terrifying, but gratifying too. She'd done a crazy thing, running off in the middle of the night, hoping to find happiness with a man she'd never met. It was a relief to think that maybe it hadn't all been a complete mistake, that maybe she'd gambled with her future and won. Nothing would have been worse than slinking back to London, admitting failure and having to explain to her entire family what she'd done. She didn't want to have to admit that she'd been wrong to herself or anyone. 
eyes lurking around every corner. What is this? Eloise asked, peering down at eight small clay pots arranged in a line across his workbench. Philip walked to her side, absurdly pleased that she seemed truly curious. Most people just feigned interest or didn't even bother to pretend and made a quick escape. It's an experiment I've been working on, he said, with bees. The kind we eat. Yes, I'm trying to develop a strain that will grow fatter in the pod. Alright, friends, I think that is where I'll stop for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading of chapter 5 from To Sir Philip with the Love. I'm interested to see how their love story develops and if, in fact, they'll fall in love with each other. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. Um, a lot of people really want Eloise to end up with Theo, which is the character she meets in the Netflix show at the end of season two. Um, so we'll see if maybe the Netflix series itself kind of twists her love story a bit, or if they'll stick to this one based on the book. I'm very interested, but I hope that you were able to relax with me for a little bit tonight, that you were in bed cozying up as well listening to this story. Let me know if you love Bridgerton too, because I truly am.